here we are doing sorting and filtering. And while we're sorting and filtering, the uh, first thing I want to bring out is that you'll notice that all of these seem to be overlapping. And now you know that when you just click, put the mouse over it, it really isn't overlapping. It's just underneath the other column. When you see hash marks, you have two options. You can drag them out this way manually, or you can just put the mouse on the upper right hand side of the column, double click, and there's the information underneath, hiding. Okay, now on the, the other end of this toolbar, on the other side of this format that you cannot see, is editing. And under editing, here is what it looks like. This is the auto sum, this is the sort and filter, and when you click on the sort and filter, the drop down menu is sort smallest to largest, sort largest to smallest, custom sort filter. Okay, so when you are trying to sort, again, we can customize our quick access toolbar. And what you cannot see over here is that I am putting the mouse on the sort and filter and I'm going to add it to the quick access toolbar. So now here it is, right here. This is the sort and filter and when I click on this little tiny triangle, here we are, sort, A to Z, Z to A, custom sort filter. Now, we can put the mouse right here on James Abbott. And if I say sort Z to A, it now sorts Zimmerman, Young, York, Yates. If I go A to Z, it goes back to all the ABCs. as you can see. And this is a fairly long list. I'm going to do a control end. And there's seven. Okay, it says it's stopping at uh, 740. There's actually three more underneath that. So this is a fairly large uh, list. I'm going to do control home. And that takes us back to A1 in the name range box. And we are back. A1 is the home. Okay, so now what if we decide that we want to filter? And when I click on filter, you notice that now we have little drop down menus in each column so that we can sort and filter whatever we need. So if I decided I want to see all the full time people, take out the hourly, remove those check marks from there, click OK. Now I have all the full time people. I have all their information. I know where they are. And you'll notice there's a little icon there. A little filter. If I take that off, I can clear the filter status. And there we are. If I decide I want to see only um, Human Resources, Green Building. 
and I want to see who's full time. So now we've shortened the list. So now I've got, I can see who's human resources, who's full time, and can sort them A to Z. So Wade is the last one, Barnett is the first one. And let me see who's north and west. So you can have a lot of fun doing sorts all day long. We can sort by color in a custom sort. We can sort um, text filters. So sorting is something that you need to learn and It's something that will come in handy when you have over 743 people to, um, to sort. So now we're back to We're back to everybody. And that's what I wanted to show you and tell you about sorting. So sort, learning to sort and do filters, it's important. Because eventually you're going to want to do this in um, Access and uh, Project and SharePoint. So this is just a short version, and I will see you in the next video.